Good morning, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to another lovely day in the Animal Crossing. It's going to be awesome. Virtual Valkyrie, welcome. Hello. How's your week been? Can't believe it's Thursday already. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Teeny, oh my gosh. Hello. Welcome. I started my Instagram and put one post on it, but I went and followed you. <laughs> I'm going to do something with it at some point. I just haven't um, gotten my act together yet to get like a queue started. I have plenty of content. I just need to, like I've got plenty of pictures. I just need to slap them in some posts with some captions. <laughs> Genetic Komodo, oh my gosh, hello. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Maybe, I hope, I hope I get some, <laughs> some actual content. Oh, you're so sweet. It's such a boring first post. I didn't know what to do, but I was like, okay, I have, I should, I need to have at least something. <laughs> so when I go follow the couple of you that uh, I've met through Animal Crossing stuff, I should probably actually have something. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you, Stream Sticker Bot. Um, so for the month of May, the adorable cat uh, little pictures that um, Chronic Migraines made for me are free, zero bits, in the sticker app. So I think they're on like the second page. Um, so slap the crap out of those, please, so we can fully appreciate them before they cost the community some bits or subscription or I haven't figured out yet how I'm gonna price those but yeah they're cool good morning Isabel <clears throat> yeah Sarah's here <clears throat> hey chronic migraines welcome oh by the way uh, the person that you requested for guiding the raid was not streaming when we raided out so you can guide the raid t today if you're around when that happens yay gonna buy some rugs it's gonna be great <gasps> hello chronic's husband Welcome to the chat. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. I've heard nothing but great things about you. I hope you're having a cozy night. I'm really glad she's sleeping. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely been one to keep weird hours too when I didn't have like things that I needed to be up for like holiday breaks can get weird sometimes <laughs> so I, I get that oh well sometimes we've got to um what is that called hmm I like allergy eyes so they're like watering a little bit um man the train of thought left the station and just went straight off the cliff oh sometimes we have to like balance wants and needs <laughs> if body needs sleep give body sleep okay double sofa I think that is for director's chair bistro table okay I got some stuff that I got for Sunny which we can't place in the house for her but we can Oh my gosh, everybody's out with their coffees this morning. Oh no, Phoebe, hello. Hi. Ooh. Well, thanks. Hi, Bo. Do you want up here? Do you want to come hang out with us? You could put your bowl up here. Yeah, we could. What's this? It's a box? Okay. Nah, Belle does not want to say hi to the people. 
Gonna lift some weights in the middle of the street because we have no traffic on Sophie's World. <coughs> what does this look like? Oh, it's blue. I like it. Okay, I guess we'll keep that one. Balloon, I hear it, I hear you. Where are you? There you are. Come here, so that you're not in the middle of all the items. A fence. Ooh, it's green. Nice. Okay, but we've got some stuff to drop off for Sunny. Um, and I wanted to give her a sofa. Okay. Well, let's take a look because I've done some work on Sunny's house. I can do a little bit of a tour. Yeah, so this is like the, because this is going to be like a little shopping center sort of thing. So this is just kind of a indoor little plaza. So we've got, we're going to have like a flea market, secondhand shop here. I'm going to have like an arcade corner. <clears throat> Over here. Oh yeah, I don't really have a lurk command, but thank you so much for the lurk, Virtual Valkyrie. Please enjoy whatever else you're doing. And this is going to be a plant shop. I might change the colors of the wallpaper and floor, but that's what we got for now. This one I've got set up to be a grocery store, but I think it might be too small for a grocery store. So we might turn this into the um, into a gym. And put the grocery store in the basement, maybe? I don't have a basement for her yet, though. That's what all the money in the yard was for. <laughs> um, then we're going to do a laundromat in here. Genetic Komodo, I could be like, it could be like a sim smaller market, like a farmer's market. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Maybe. And then this is, um, Sunny's apartment. It's missing, like, some walls. <laughs> and some counters. <clears throat> But we got, we got an apartment started for her. So yeah, very like old lady chic is my plan. But that's what we got. All right. Yeah, I forgot that there's so much, like, produce stuff now, because they're kind of newer items to the game. Okay, let us find the Sahara. How much money do we have in our pockets? Alright, we should put these out. We don't need the fence, though. Hi, Belle. Hello. Are you giving up? Are you gonna come, are you gonna come cuddle? Do you want to come hang out? She's like, I'm mildly annoyed that I'm here. Yay! My house is making progress. I might switch which sides this living room section is and stick it over here. And then make a little bathroom area. <clears throat> we'll see. Hobbs is still going to have his 
like cat tree and telescope corner though for sure. Okay, don't need a fence right now. But yeah, I got a wood rug. Oh, commercials, dang. <laughs> Hello, cute cat. I'm so sad, my cat. Um, my cat camera broke, so now I can't show you guys how adorable this cat is. Then we've got um, a little balcony space. I need to stick another cat tree out here. Commercial's over. I'm just doing a little tour of some of the updates I've done in the house. <clears throat> Yay! Hello, kitten. She's a little twitchy. Still in the feisty mood. <clears throat> okay, I don't think there have been any like major updates. Except I was really excited to get that rug. Okay, let's get see if we have any Sahara tickets. So many Nook Miles. Okay, I don't think we have any Sahara tickets. Nope. monster. Do you want to say hi to the people? No. <clears throat> I want to sit just out of reach and look cute. if I have one of these yet. I'll buy it. Cool. Gonna have a, a dubious genetics lab. Oh, only that much? Wow. So little. <clears throat> what do we have today? Dun 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 dun. -dum. Ooh. But those are so much darker. I don't know. Okay, okay. Oh, you're so cute. You should come over here so people can see how cute you are and so I can help you. But I think she's too feisty if I just go and like hug her. She'll be like, no, I need freedom. So that's that. screen work better over here <coughs> yeah are you a cute little loaf getting sleepy mm-hmm oh that's new What else do we got in here? Already picked up the Hogwarts robes. 
Comfy pants. <gasps> oh, I love those. Okay, well, okay. This is going to take us a moment. Oh, we can get all kinds of colors. Yeah. Okay. Butterfly visiting kimono. Got the blue one. Let's get the pink one. I love all the fruit dresses too. They're just so cute. Did we do the pink one already? I think so. Belle doesn't want to sit next to me because then she can't see the door and she wants to be able to keep an eye out. Yeah, we do. Okay, I think we probably ended up with double of the blue, but oh well. Crap, did we end up with all three of those? Okay, I should have five pleated masks and three visiting kimonos. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I got distracted. Two, three, four, five. Got all of those. What are these? Butterfly. One, two, three. Okay, we got all of them. Nice. Okay, let's go find Sahara. Yeah, we got a sleepy cat on the bed. Oh yeah, water flowers, that would be good. I'm trying to get these things to breed. They're just producing more of themselves, though. <laughs> but now we've got more of them, so hopefully that will give us more chances. <coughs> Alright, hunting for Sahara. Also, the bottle. And then we're gonna go to Happy Home Paradise. Oh yeah, and we got Star Bits last night. Doop boop doop. Okay. Oh, there's Sahara. Okay. Let's see, and if we don't have anything, any sci-fi things for HHP, then we'll come back and just do some work, because I've got some spots here where I could actually get some stuff. Like, I'm pretty much done with, or I could be done with um, the cafeteria. All right, let's put another bistro table out here. Yeah, breeding is hard, Teeny. So I just went to Treasure Islands. I did manage to grow a green mom on my own, though. Wow! 
Yeah, I feel like I have the time right now, so... Like, eh, why not? direction. This way. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, we got some bistro tables up here. Maybe I just need to... Don't know what I could stick over here, like a planter maybe. Teeny green mums are apparently the hardest to breed. Oh. Yeah, I'm working on blue roses right now, which are also kind of up there. I don't know about their spawn rate, though. The, um... The mums might be harder. Have, like, a hard, uh... A harder likelihood or something. Rug lady! I'm ready! Small rug. Okay. <laughs> Another rug. Another rug. No thanks, sorry. Your intentions are clear. The save by mud is not. That is excellent. We need the largest one. Now we should have enough. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Let's do some of those. Do the flooring and then we are done. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. Thank you, Sahara. My floors shall not be so naked now. Um, kitchen mat. Medium orange mat. Okay, that's a square one, I think. Oh, I need to put that over there. Red and blue checked rug. Oh. Circuit board flooring. Nice. Stadium wall. And a desert. Let's put some sushi on this table. All 
Uh, we did. Oh no, we didn't. Or we did have the same one, but it was different, different color board. Okay. Okay, what do we have? A jackhammer? What? That's cool. Gonna go stick that in my archaeology area. Alright. What do we got going on? Okay, we wanted to stick a gurney over here. Can I actually sleep on this? Yes. <clears throat> I wonder if other people can push it around while you're sleeping on it. A bunch of things right here. Okay. So many things. Then we should go in and get some coffee. Drink our coffee before we go out to work. Next to each other. What do we got? Should only be four fossils because they got on yesterday. Oh, that was a new one. Dang it. To come back later. Okay. Let's go ahead and hi Graham. Are you stuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that you can just wait and wait and wait and you just kind of get into a staring competition with Brewster. <coughs> ah. Okay, so it's a different thing that it says each time. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, Isabel! Oh, I love that we saw her on her coffee break. in here. <coughs> That's really fun. I wonder if Isabel's gonna have... Huh? Yeah. Of course. 
course. <gasps> what? Ooh. I guess we've finally gotten enough, drunk enough cups of coffee. <clears throat> but I can't learn these yet. Oh, I can? Even though I can't actually cook them yet? Oh yeah, it's like, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do with these. Hello, kitten. She's like, I'm going to sleep, but I'm going to keep one eye open if somebody feels like setting me free. <clears throat> I think I have enough stuff to get this loading area done, and I also think that the cafeteria could be done, so <clears throat> we'll see how we get that done. If we can do that today. And I've got enough stuff to get the uh, archaeology lab uh, started also. To the lucky owner of a free bottle, I was cleaning my house and found this old DIY recipe I thought up. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up a brainstorm. Try it and see what happens, you clever plow groucho. Jail bars? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. I knew I'd like manage to wish on more than just one star last night. Hey! What is this? A uh, Taurus fragment? Yeah. Good morning, O'Hare. Power meditation. Okay. Let's empty some pockets and let's go. So we've got Sleepy Bell happening in real life, so maybe we should have Sleepy Bell on the screen. Slip. Yeah. Gonna have some bell stickers. There we go. <clears throat> Probably, yeah, not enough room in here. We can see what it looks like in storage. Oh, it's those things. Okay. Mm. Put away. What is this? <clears throat> okay, I think we are ready to go. Do you Happy home paradise! Look at me done with most of my chores by 10.30. Only half an hour after stream started. Oh yeah! Proud of myself. <coughs> Bill, do you want to come nap over here? <laughs> I wanna go to work. <laughs> what would dodos do? Use the airport because they can't actually fly with wings. Let's see if we can nab this cat. Yeah, I'm coming for you. 
Yes, I am. Oh, oh no, I made big noises. Hey, Nico. Hi, come here. Yo. Oh. Yeah. The little whiny noises. Here we go. Yeah, we got a sleepy girl. Do you wanna just like cuddle here? Yeah? Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Just do a cuddle here. Say hi to the people. Hello, people. Yeah. Here, I've got a cuddle, a cuddle bowl for you here if you want that. Here we go. Maybe she'll settle down. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, we might have cat camp. Yes. Where is my camera? There we go! Bell cam. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Success. <clears throat> yeah. Good job. Yeah. So nice of you to hang out with me. Yeah, I love you too, you little whiny cat. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, she's super cute. I don't know if you guys can hear, but she's got this little... <laughs> little sound. What? Hello? Sure. Oh, they're just like, it makes our colleague happy. We want to help. Oh, oh. Yeah. Nice. Oh. What the heck is this? Oh, it's like a DJ kit. Okay, interesting. Sign? Yeah, I'll buy that. I recommend all the items. Let's go ahead and pay. I got money from just going around and putting pillars <laughs> in the corners of places where I'd had like the the extra walls but then like the corners didn't match up so I just added corner pieces and got money. Okay, let's go give this dude Let's go give our friend Nico some things. Different designs and materials might be handy for designing homes, right? Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! <clears throat> oh, I don't have any. Okay, he needs some wood. I thought I could access my own storage somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay. So he wanted wood and tree branches. Do I have any tree branches in here? I do. Oh. I don't want to give you all of that though. Well, I guess we're giving you all of it. Okay. <clears throat> if 
Wait, let's check the list. Okay. So we need like five more tree branches. Did that just give him all of it? Okay, good. He only took. So we need to go get him five more tree branches and he'll be a happy camper. We could do that later though. I'm ready to work. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find someone with sci fi things. Read quietly in a room filled with plants. He wants a festival. Mountain hut. Instruments. Construction job site. Glamping. To the reader of this message, I thought of this DIY recipe while I was waiting for my oven to heat up. Why does that take so long? I tried the recipe myself and loved it, so it seemed worth sharing out. It's simple if you have the parts. Best wishes, Zoe. Woven Vines hat? Oh. Ooh, Teeny, what, what type of commercial did you get? Guys, it is a trip. Um, ooh. Seeing commercials in movie theaters in countries that it's not your primary language because like there's already some confusion when you start a commercial of just like what is this going to be about and some of them are kind of like really obscure until the very end and you're like what uh but it's even even more that the like guessing game is just even harder when you don't really know much of the language so that's always really funny samurai we already did you. Pool. Seaside photo shoot. Mm, see, we just don't have. Ooh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Is that a movie or more of the show? I don't think I've seen that one yet or seen any commercials for that yet. <coughs> All right, we got no one. Unless they're in the school. So, maybe we go home and just build stuff. <coughs> yeah, you're all people we've already done stuff for. Okay, fine. Oh, it's a new show on Par Paramount Plus. Oh, Paramount now has its own Star Trek, its own thing, man, guys. Oh well. I'm not getting that streaming service, <laughs> that's for sure. Taking a break, okay. Oh, I guess I don't have to sign out. I can just leave. Yeah, we can just leave work. She's super cute, though. I think that she would work really nicely with, um... Eloise. Let's go back. Go back, go back. <laughs> do we like that cuddle ball? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Aww. 
Hello. Oh, big sigh. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're not gonna do the sci-fi island today, or the sci-fi HHP today. Um. Reno, welcome! Of course Paramount would have their own streaming service. Teeny, there's another one called Star Trek Picard that I've been hearing is horrible. I think that one is on Netflix. I haven't heard if it's... I haven't heard anything about it. If it's good or not. Hmm. Reno, it's TikTok all over again and how we got reels, shorts, and stories. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, like, that's kind of just how stuff works. People are like, oh, this is making someone money. What if I could make money from this? So. <clears throat> okay. What? We have one more. Let's see, if we work on this loading bay, then I can get Dell in here. I can move his house, which would be awesome. Because I think he's going to be our loading bay person. Ooh! Reno bought a new audio interface. That's cool. So what is that going to do for you? Oh my gosh, I turned the brightness up so much on this computer last night because uh, Call of the Sea is super dark in some of the spots. Oh, oh nope, come back. Uh, turn it down, my eyeballs, they burn. There we go. Be a little dim now, but that's fine. Um, where is this at? Hmm. Yeah, we're already kind of throwing my design out the window. That's exciting. The same basic concept is there. <laughs> hmm. Um. Teeny Star Trek Picard is also on Paramount Plus. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's on a couple different services because I swear it was on something else too. Reno, well, since the last one got fried up from wrong guitar plugging, oops, it'll allow me to use mic again. Ha <laughs> oops. But also, it sounds better and has stronger casing. Nice. Happy new gear to you. Ooh, seven plus days. Nice. Um, let's see. I think I already have one of these. Yeah, I do. One more. Steamroller. Oh my god. Oh, yes, we're gonna get that. That looks crazy. Do I have KK Groove? I'm gonna find out. I do. Okay. Well, we need a steamroller. That sounds hilarious. It's a Scarlet Solo from Focusrite if you're interested. Oh yeah! I have one of those at my office. We have a bigger one that we're using for the game room, but also using focus, right? I'm not much of a sound person, so I did not do the um, 
research on those ones. But yeah, let's see, we're using, to run sound effects, we're using Focusrite, a Focusrite sound card, and one of those devices, audio interface, yes. Um, and then Ableton, Ableton Live. And then some, like that's where we're keeping our sound effects and then we have some other things that are queuing them. Reno, I had a Behringer UM2 before and although it was super cheap, well, it was super cheap. <laughs> I've heard of that brand name. Both my dad and one of my brothers have done quite a bit with sound tech stuff. Um, my dad more as like a volunteer sort of thing, like a hobby, I guess. And my brother more as like his job, or one of my brothers more of like his job. So I hear these things knocking around. I mean, and also I've done a lot of performance, live performance stuff, so I hear about equipment. Through that too, even if I don't really know how to use it that well. Okay. I think we'll leave that for now. Because I think we'll probably find some things that we need as we go about this. Okay. <laughs> Reno, I'm crazy for this stuff, but not at the level of wanting music in flack format. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is flak format? <laughs> okay, we've ordered a steamroller, folks. I'm excited. Okay. Actually, we should empty these pockets a little bit. Order the um, the cooking things. Well, I didn't really want to because I didn't want to get cooking recipes. Flack is an uncompressed audio file. It's supposed to let you hear all the little nuances of music, but I can't really tell the difference. Ah, okay. Let's move, Dell. Let's do it. I love that he doesn't even know yet where we're gonna move him. He's just like, I have complete blind trust. <clears throat> oh, Dell, I've got a, I've got news for you. You're not gonna have a view. <laughs> Okay, Dell's kit. Go and keep these. Okay, I guess we can sell the sh sell the shells. <clears throat> Little cuddle cat. Okay. Just 
hate having a bunch of stuff in my pockets. Okay. Got so many cones. <laughs> Been working on my box collection. stick Dell's house here. Just do it. You can always move him later. Oh, dang! Oh, I needed to move him over like one more. already. Let's see. Hello! So many! You know, okay, just to realize the time, I'll go to bed now. Yeah, go to sleep, go to sleep. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about nerdy sound stuff with us. That's exciting. And sleep well. And enjoy your Wednesday when you get to it. Or I guess Thursday. Enjoy your Thursday when you get to it. Yes. Hmm. Let's see if that actually placed it. I think it probably did save it, but... Eh. Oh well, we'll just work with it. <clears throat> oh, you're so sweet! Thank you! Let's give you a shout out before you go. Maybe if my mouse isn't dead. Wake up, mouse! There you go. Yep, that, that just said it. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll just live with that. Okay. Yeah, 
I think I kind of wanted them on the other level too, but we'll just kind of see how this works. Some building of cliffs. Okay. We got lots of things that we can stick in here. What do we got? Letter here. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Gaming with Dominique! Welcome! Welcome! Thank you so much for the follow. Are you also an Animal Crossing person? Hydrate reminder. Many thanks. It's always a good thing for the vocal cords when you're doing a lot of talking. Oh, okay. So you're getting your Animal Crossing happiness vicariously. It's going pretty good. It's kind of a sleepy day. Well, okay, every day is a sleepy day. I'm just not a morning person. <laughs> and it is 11 in the morning, my time right now, so I'm like maybe starting to feel awake a little bit. But yeah. find something like maybe we can stick a bunch of crates or something around his house just like storage Ooh, you got a new car congratulations it's so exciting cars are awesome let's see Why did we make the hallways over here? Three, okay. Aww, cheap little luxury car. Nice, that's so exciting. Congratulations on the new car. <laughs> Were you able to get it new or is it like used? Get a good deal on it. Tell us about it. Give us the tea. <laughs> it's a Volvo from 2011, so it's cheaper than when it was brand new. Nice. That's exciting. Have you had your eye on this type of car for a while, or was this kind of 
just needed a, a new car and found this one. Oh, you got it from work. Ooh, nice. Company car. Oh, you bought it from your work. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Get some deals. Okay, yeah, not a company card. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you work in a dealership. Oh. Oh, that's got to be a dangerous job for not, like, updating your car every couple years. <laughs> There we go. Stick our mop and bucket over here actually where it's a little bit easier to see it. Dominique, my last car kept drinking oil like fuel, so I needed a reliable car. Oh, last car was a BMW. Fancy, fancy. Fun. Well, I'm from the US, so like BMW is pretty much only a sports car there, but I've definitely seen like BMW minivans here in Finland, so I guess I guess it's a little bit of an assumption to say fancy. <laughs> What do we got in here? I need like a... BMW is a shitbox. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're from the UK. Ah, okay. Hello! Welcome! It is not an ungodly hour of the night for you, then. What am I doing? I'm looking up some codes on Pinterest, I think. Because I want to get like a... You know that like, kind of like metal floor plating that's got like, the little diamond shapes on it? I have one of those saved and I think that'll work nicely for like, shelving, sort of? Um, custom designs. Let's see, where is this at? I know I have some of you saved. Where are you? It'll be in here somewhere. Ah, uh, so many things. This is always my problem too many. I just scroll through Pinterest and I'm like, oh, that's cool, and that's cool, and then before I know it, my, like, list of stuff is completely bloated. But I have something for everything! <laughs> I just can't find it when I need it. <laughs> Let's see, I should have looked this up earlier, so I had it at hand. Oh, well. Hmm. 
it's in here somewhere. The BMW is just an oil drinking car. Okay. Yeah, you guys are two hours earlier. Two hours earlier than me, so it's like around nine. People just get it for the badging. Yeah, it's just like the, the cool factor, the brand name. You actually wanted a BMW, but it's just so much to maintain. Yeah, I get that. My dad's a my dad enjoys cars, uh, and he became like when he was younger, he ended up becoming a bit of a mechanic just because he was maintaining his own car, his sports car, and then it's turned out to be really nice because uh, then he's just kind of maintained the cars for everybody else in the family. Okay, I've got one little plate. More like these. Oh. Okay, let's try these. I would love to access this portal. Thank you. Connecting to the internet. <laughs> now you own a luxury car that drinks fuel. <laughs> it's probably ultimately better for the car <laughs> than to have it be burning oil like that. Uh, let's look by a creek. M A. Yep. Okay. Six three. Nine, two, six, six, four, five. I'm always kind of worried that some of these that are a little bit I've pinned like a while ago will not be like they won't be up anymore, but we'll see. Ah, sweet, they totally are. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. And then, <laughs> that one looks like cheese slices. Then I also had this other one. Nine nine four nine. Nine five nine eight 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 six one. Okay. Oh. I think we'll just do a metal pa battle scar. Gareth? What is that from? Is that like the David Bowie? Labyrinth? No, it's Jareth. Gaming with Dominique. It does an average of 31.4 miles per gallon. Ooh. Oh, wow. Drink so much fuel for a hatchback car. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I just save this? Have you been saved as a person? Yes. Let's try this. I do not have a car anymore, and it has been wonderful. I do miss it, like when I want to take like a road trip or we go into IKEA or something like that. But I'm not sure how I like that. 
Let's try the other design. It's kind of really boxy. What if we did this one? But we tried one of the other designs from that creator that had a little more definition, maybe. Um, it's a three-door, four-seater car. Three doors? How does that work? Are they counting like the, the hatchback as a door? I don't need the big space anyways. I'm a single person, so I really don't need a big car. Yeah. It's been nice to be able to just work with public transportation where I'm at, but like I grew up in an area where there really wasn't good public transportation. Oh, the boot is considered a door. Oh, okay, I got it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yes I would. Who was the maker of this one? Um, okay. But yeah, like, I enjoy, I don't mind driving, but it's kind of nice to not have to do all the maintenance and stuff. Let's see if we overwrite this one. Really, you can actually like access the back seats? through the back. Oh, interesting. Yo. Okay, yeah, I like that better with just a little bit of definition, but not a ton. <clears throat> Overgrown. Oh, there's Velma. <laughs> I know very little about European cars. <laughs> I grew up in the States. And I've been living out here in Europe for about six or seven years. All of that with like not a car out here, so I'm like, eh. Most of the cars I've been in in Finland have been pretty similar to builds that I grew up with, but like definitely on the smaller side. Alright, we've got some shelves happening. Exciting.
gaming with Dominic. Public transport in the Euro in Europe is so much better than the USA, and that's coming from a person who hates taking them. Yeah, and they're just. I don't know, they seem to be safer in some of the areas too. But I don't know, I, I mean, I'm living in Finland, which is a pretty ridiculously safe area, so. Meh. Okay, let's stick cassette player up there. What? Oh, I have to be up there to actually place it up there. <laughs> That's fair. Do anything else we want up here? Floor side. Oh wait, no, we have not this one. We want the this thing up here. Tool cart. Stick this toolbox on it. Okay. I guess we can stick the floor sign over here. Yeah! We're starting to get a, a thing happening. Dominique, I will try to avoid public transport as much as possible. <laughs> Well, I mean, you work with cars, so that makes sense that cars will be just kind of like in your head is what we're what you're doing. Okay. is so much cheaper than owning a car. Um, so we're doing a secret facility island. So what we're working on right now is the loading bay. Just kind of where deliveries are. Kind of like the handyman. <coughs> Handyman's area too a little bit. Just don't like being surrounded by people. Yeah, it can be super overwhelming. Um, public transportation here is so quiet. You could be in rush hour and there's just like maybe a little bit of a whispered conversation going on in the car, in the like, on the bus or in the train car. So weird. Of course, like, weekend nights definitely get a bit rowdier. Especially like when the teens come out, but. Teens, the kiddos. Oh yeah, and also teams. Like if they're sporting events, then things will get quite crazy, quite loud. But um, well, actually, if we've won and it's after the game and people are drunk, then it'll get kind of loud. But yeah. Yeah, cars are legit legitimate technology. No shame there. It's also significantly faster to get places with a car. Well, not quite all the time. But, yeah. And if you're not having to go into downtown areas and stuff like that. 
um, then it's a lot easier to go with cars sometimes. But yeah, trying to park in a downtown is just awful. Do we have... Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Eat this. Just gonna eat a handful of wheat. Call it a day. Oh, not you. In your area, it takes almost an hour to take public transit to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's stick you over here. Oop, nope. Yeah, you can get to town in 20 minutes. Do you have decent parking options? Or is it like, I get to town in 20 minutes and then I spend another 20 minutes trying to get a parking spot? talk about that part. <laughs> Parking in downtown Helsinki is awful. It's just awful. Do not recommend. Just park in a place that's somewhat inconvenient. As long as it doesn't get to the point where you have to take public transportation to get from your parking spot to where you're going. Though, I mean, that is also kind of a legit strategy too. Like I know people that live further out that will then, um, That will get into the point where like a commuter train will, pi will pick them up and then they'll like, take the train into town. I hear the balloon, where is it? Damn it. Yeah, car security. but it is like mildly annoying that you still have the green around the edges. It kind of looks like, yeah, the code is going out past the edge of the... You can see kind of there at the edge, going past the edge of the thing. Oh well. That's such a nerve-wracking thing. <laughs> the more expensive the car, the more likely it'll be robbed. That, that checks out. Rare. I mean, that does. 
doesn't necessarily mean- I mean, that people will- I mean, it makes it kind of stand out a little more. I don't know. Oh wait, no, we're doing terraforming. Archaeology lab next to the museum, but I also kind of want to stick it. It's the one that I've got like the most done for So I kind of want to stick it here I don't know bunch of stuff on that part. Oh, I should actually like take a picture of it. Cause yeah this is starting to turn out nice. I want to put like so much stuff up on those shelves. But I like this stack of boxes here too so. We shall see. up just a little bit more so we can see. Yeah, I guess that works. Alright. What else do I have in my pocket? Oh, the standing shop sign. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, I don't think we have any. All oh, right, so I know that I want to have some area. How much room do I have in my pockets? I got some space. I oh, I have probably a space for all this. Nope. Pockets are full. Okay. So I know I want some... Some rope sort of things. Oh, let's go ahead and order those. What were they called? Rope? Oh, but I've got... Actually, we're gonna go get the hedges. I got some hedges left. Maybe we can do a little bit with that. quite what I was thinking. Um, is there something we can make with DIY?
<laughs> yep, not really seeing anything. Okay, so maybe we're gonna order. Can we order plant partitions? Have I actually accessed those yet? Nope, not you. This one. Actually, how do we search? Partition. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do the curtain, so let's just do a couple of these. I think that's probably all I can do. Yep, okay. So we'll get those tomorrow. Augustus Octavius! Oh, you're a bot. Goodbye. I was going to welcome you, but no. Oh well. Let's see. Well, I could just put fence there right now, just to kind of block off in my head what where it's gonna be. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Oh my goodness, we've got stretchy toes over here. Yeah. Are we so sleepy? Um, but I could probably put some stuff away. Oh, I can put that in storage now. Nice. actually go there for the thing I needed. <laughs> no! Why are we like this? <laughs> so sad. Okay, let's get some fence. Do the ice fence so it's super obvious that this is not what we're doing. <laughs> and I got lots of it. One, two, three, three. Hello, how are you? Are you an Animal Crossing person? I need you to agree to a voluntary and only important question even if you do not understand. Uh, that is not happening. <laughs> I do not agree to things before I know what they are. May 
cool if you want to hang out and chat about Animal Crossing and stuff like that. Or even stuff that's not Animal Crossing, but that is like creating a positive, accepting environment for people, you are welcome to stay. Uh, but this sort of like play is not really something that I is on brand for my channel. So um, I'm sure there are other people that will think that's really funny, but that's just not my sense of humor here. So. Um, you are welcome, you're absolutely welcome to be here if you want to chat about other things, but that's kind of off topic for us here. Okay. This kind of snake around. Okay, we've got this happening over here. I'm gonna need like a condiments table or something. Trash can here. Maybe we can, yeah, stick like condiments tables or something. I had a condiments thing. Where is it at? Place that there for now. Okay. last ones. Yeah, that doesn't need to be a, because that's going to be like the out. Okay, let's put a treats table here. Yeah, we could we could still make this work. Do I have another reception counter? I do. And then we'll do like a dessert thing here, maybe. Oh, another balloon. Well, when it gets here, it gets here. stick a kitchen kind of behind this area, I think. Oh, we got a little twitchy leg happening. One more little piece. 
piece of counter here. Put the ice cream counter over here. There we go. All right, we're starting to get stuff happening here. Okay. Is that how that should go? we got in here. Backlit sign for welcome. Oops. Okay. Welcome sign. rearrange this at some point because I kind of feel like this might be oh put you from the side I think this might be a little weird Okay. Okay, this is starting to look a little bit like a cafeteria. You want to grab one of these trays of food. And stick it over here like it's coming out. Hello, Sahara! Is that the right angle for that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. partitions for this area. I'm not sure. So that way we can kind of have some windows into what they're doing. Let's block this off with frozen fence again. <laughs> section but so this is gonna 
be another sort of outdoor patio. And then we're going to have um, probably a volleyball net over here. Kind of a little small, but either that or I guess we could stick it like here. Don't know. Yeah, maybe a barbecue back here or something. Not sure, but kind of just seaside corporate facility vibes. Alright, let's go get some more. Fencing. Yeah, I'm going to get some more fencing. You've just hung out with us the whole time. This has been nice. She says, I've been held captive against my will, but I made the best of it. Crimson Orion 69, thank you so much for the follow. How are you? What you up to today? Oh my gosh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> hello, hello, friends. <laughs> Just about ready to call it a night. Oh my gosh, hi everyone! <laughs> so you were last playing... Oh my gosh, where were you playing? Eight Bunny Bob, that is an excellent name. Devour, what is Devour about? Your clip, that looks like Minecraft, so you do some Minecraft too? Nice! Hello, hello, hello! Do you do any Animal Crossing too? Or are you... Uh, you do a variety of stuff? Okay, nice. But yeah, what's Devour about? I've never... I don't really know that one. Also, welcome everyone. I'm gonna do a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, so... Hello, new friends. Um, please tell me how the stream went. Uh... <laughs> Eight Bunny Bob. I haven't streamed Animal Crossing yet, but I flattened my island and I'm scared of commitment. Oh no! What the heck?! Oh my god! <laughs> It's a collaborating! Oh my goodness gracious! Hi guys! I couldn't, I just got like overwhelmed. Oh goodness! Okay, so who. Who raided? Who was the one who. Uh, the second raid? Taff V! Okay. Welcome! Where are you? Oh, you guys were. Oh, you were streaming together! Oh, that's so much fun! Oh, oh my gosh, hello! Welcome! Um, yeah, so please tell me, guys! Uh, how was your stream? People who come over with them? Were there any good, like, silly moments? Or, like, fun things? Or just, like, just really poignant things? Like, did anything cool happen? Please tell me about it. I want to know. And yeah, hello, I'm Sophie. <laughs> I play Animal Crossing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. to about noonish. Um. Eastern European time. I'm streaming out of Finland. Uh, I'll probably go a little bit later because I'm in the middle of something right now, trying to get um, finishing a cafeteria build. Uh, but yeah, I um, I'm working on building a sci-fi secret facility, research facility island. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's 5 a.m. there. Yeah, if you guys need a raid and run and like go sleep or just like eat or do something other than stare at a computer screen, please do. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but then Wednesdays, I've been doing in the evenings, or at least evenings my time, 6 p.m. Eastern European time. If you're not sure what that is, check out my schedule tab and it will nicely convert it to your own time zone, which is awesome. But yeah, Wednesday evenings we've been doing um, like mystery games or like ex like story, more story driven games. So uh, we are in the middle of Call of the Sea, which is like a 1930s South Pacific uh, exploration, like. We're we're fall we're trying to figure out what happened to our husband's ex research expedition. Uh, there's definitely some elder horror vibes that are happening, and it's fascinating. Um, but it's not like super creepy because like I'm not a I'm a horror weenie, so this is it's it's fine. There's not really anything too crazy that's happening in there, so. Uh, but yeah, before that, we did Strange Horticulture, which is a game where you're um, 
But let me let me give you an island tour while I'm while I'm chatting about stuff. Um, but yeah, here's our entrance. Uh, but yeah, before that we did um, Strange Horticulture, and you can find a playlist for what I have on my YouTube channel. Um, also, I have it in VODs, but I think they might be subscriber only. Um, but yeah, past stuff that's not on VODs anymore, or even is a VOD, but I've uploaded it anyways, is on YouTube. Um, and I also have an Animal Crossing blog on the Tumblr, so there you go. Check that out. Um, but yeah, let's see. These are the villagers I've got on my island right now, if y'all are interested. But yeah, if you guys are Animal Crossing people, please tell me about it. Okay, what do we got? We got some... The stream was lots of screaming and my heart hurts. Okay, oh my gosh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> Uh, Bunny was the MVP and got the win in Devour. Cool. No, Taff Med Kid Carry. Okay, I don't, I don't know what you guys are playing or like how that, how that game works, but <laughs> glad you're having fun and you're still kind of on a high from it. That's great. It's so much fun to do collaborative streams. So much fun. Okay, so our island, kind of this first part of it is just kind of normal, the normal town. So. Oh, gonna snack this real quick. Um, yeah, so you come right in and you've got your sh you're on Main Street, you've got your shops. This is my house. I'm the resident representative, the caretaker of the island, so this is just my house for me and my family. Yeah. Like you. I got you a cat tree. I did. So we've got a living room. I don't know, we won't go through all of that because it's not super well. It's very much a work in progress still. Um, and then out on this side, but yeah, look, I have a waterfall in my backyard. I'm super excited about that. What do we got over here? We've got a flower breeding area behind these shops, but we're going to eventually turn that into a flea market, I think. Over here is the one-stop shop. It doesn't have a ton of stuff in it yet, and the like top floor is the like old lady that runs it. That's my second or her apartment. So that's the second player. And then we've got campsite happening over here once we move some people into their spots in the in the facility. But yeah, so the sci the research facility. Here we go. We've got our main corporate entrance. Oh, I didn't know that the fountain did a special thing on the hour. That's fun. If you're an employee, you go through your security. And uh, this way is going to lead to like the labs and stuff like that eventually. But over here, we've got what's going to be a public restroom up here. We've got a, like a just kind of a... It's the like staff cafeteria, but this is also kind of like the low security area where friends, family, guests can come in and hang out. So we've got just kind of a employee lounge up here, got some outdoor outdoor dining, got some cafeteria tables. We've just been setting up this um, this chunked day. I've just kind of had stuff piled everywhere, but. Um, yeah, this has been nice to have it kind of starting to feel a little bit more like a spot. These are going to be partitions at some point. Um, or like, a, what are they called? Simple panels, I think. And then like the half simple panels for like the windows where the food comes out. Because it's going to be a kitchen behind that. The We're not using ice fence here actually at the end. We're going to use some sort of partition, either plants or the ropes. Ah, I'm not sure which yet. We'll find out. Have another little outdoor seating area probably over here. What do we got? Then then things are just kind of in piles. I haven't quite figured where things are going to go yet. So this is my pile of office things uh, because we're going to have... Sorry, sneeze was incoming. Okay. Uh, so this is a pile of stuff for, cause like, 
when we get Raymond, he's going to have his big office, fancy boss man office, and probably like some meeting rooms or something. Um, then we've got some stuff set up for a library. Just starting to hoard stuff for a library. Ta-da! Um, the library is going to have the museum in it, but for now we had moved the museum over. Oh yeah, here's my pile of science related stuff. We've got stuff collected here for a variety of different labs. We've got like um, some medical sort of genetics labs. We've got some botany and plant sort of labs with that the moss is going to be included in. I don't have a Twitter, I'm sorry, but I have a Tumblr and an Instagram. Instagram doesn't have much on it. You can find them in my, my about tab in the social media links there. But yeah, if you have the characters linking, like, giving me a shout out over there would be so nice. Thank you. You're wonderful. Um, but yeah, we've got, like, we're going to have some, like, a space program. We're going to have, like, a electronics mecha lab. <laughs> Twitter scares me, okay? There's just, like, it's like the Wild West. Also, it just got bought by a billionaire, so I'm like, oh, no. Um, also, it seems like a really demanding platform for like content, so I'm just like, I don't, I don't have the time for that. We've got ourselves a kaiju to like have next to our giant mech once we have that built. Um, this beach back here is a fishing beach right now, but it is gonna be. <laughs> Twitter is scary, <laughs> Bunny Bob. Yep. So I don't know. I also don't have a Discord for streaming, which is like also kind of a big weird thing. But I'm trying to just do the media where like I know that I can put out content. I don't have really much on my Instagram right now, but I have. It's a pr it's a work in progress. I know I have stuff I can put on it, like content. I just haven't like put it on it yet. So that's a work in progress. That was also peer pressure from other streamers being like, I need to see your stuff. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, this back beach is gonna be the the secret loading and loading spot where the things that we don't wanna like tell the, the normal townspeople about that we may or may not be producing here. <laughs> That's back here. The smugglers beach. Um, we've got a bunch of cool stuff happening for like a generator room, power generator room that's going to be next to, that's going to be kind of where this secret delivery beach is at. What else do we got? And then I've just got some piles of things that I'm going to put up on top of walls or something. Um, we've got a pile of gyroids happening that's going to be part of an kind of an archaeology lab. We're going to have just an entire gyroid section, I'm pretty sure. Um, then we've got a bunch of stuff ready to go in an archaeology lab. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. But then what we've been working on today, besides the cafeteria, was this area. We'd had some stuff kind of piled, but now we've actually kind of... Like, we had the truck placed and everything kind of forward, but we really hadn't placed stuff in here, so... This is what we got. We are sticking Dell over here. He's going to be our handyman at this facility. Um, but yeah, so then I've, I've placed kind of the metal flooring up here to kind of act as shelves. So I'm going to put a bunch of crap up there to make it just look like this is a, a storage room, a, you know, just a supplies room sort of thing. Lots of boxes. And a truck. A truck to take things from like this dock to here. So it's very, <laughs> it's more there for aesthetic than like practicality for sure. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much our, um, our island right now. Oh my gosh, what? Hello! Hello, welcome! <laughs> oh no, no. Guys, working on today. What were you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, Pog. <laughs> we just missed. I just did a tour for the other 
newbies that came in, but I'll give you kind of the short of it. My name's Sophie. I do Animal Crossing here on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern European time. Um, and Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern European time, I do kind of adventure games. Right now, we're uh, like adventure kind of story driven game so right now we're working through call of the sea which is a 1930s south pacific expedition gone wrong mystery with some like eldritch horror lovecraftian lore sort of elements in it which is fun um but yeah also by day i mean obviously it's day and i'm here but um ooh, bamboo wand do we know this one oh dang i'll well, we'll give it to sunny Gas mask. That's cool. I'm gonna go stick that somewhere. Um, but yeah, so by day I, or my other job is I'm a game developer and a little bit of a designer for Out of Orbit, ga the Out of Orbit games. Um, which are, we have a spaceship game room, so they're sci-fi spaceship games. Um, we have a spaceship game room here in Helsinki uh, where you and your friends can pilot the ship together, kind of man the different crew stations. We've got some video game elements in it where you're actually like cooperatively doing tasks together. So you can have fire, the captain can yell fire some missiles and someone can go fire some missiles and it can be like, Scotty, we need more power. And you're like, or not Scotty, is it Scotty? Yeah. We need more power, and the Scotty can be like, I'm giving her all she's got, Captain, as they put the, radio the reactor up to full. You know, stuff like that. Super fun. So we have a physical game room for that, and we've done an interactive Twitch TV show in December, which you can find information on that over on Out of Orbit Game. Basically, we hooked the Twitch chat up to the engineering station to help a single pilot man their ship as they were going through a space adventure that turned out to be a bit more adventurous than they had bargained for. Uh, and we will be having more content for that series coming out sometime in the next year-ish. Uh, and we're going to have a, a little bit of it for sure over the summer. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's see. Oh, I might actually be able to announce another project that I'm involved in. Can I do that today? Uh, where is this at? What was the link for it? Never mind, we'll announce that tomorrow. that or is it nope okay never mind I can't announce that yet but tomorrow I'll be able to announce another really awesome sci-fi project that I'm involved in doing cool game dev stuff for that too anyways that's about me uh, what else were we trying to do today? Oh my gosh, we've got so many things. So many things to put out. Okay. But yeah, so that's me. Um, so please tell me about yourselves. Um, you guys were playing spooky games. Uh, anyone that came in from that stream, please tell me what were some funny moments or cool moments or like awful jump scare moments. I don't know, just like what, what happened? How was it? What did you like? What do you recommend about this wonderful streamer that you came and raided with. These sorts of things. Okay, we're gonna stick the gas mask. We're probably gonna have a reason to use one of those at some point over in this area. Or something with this pile of stuff. But yeah! Oh my gosh, so I normally get off at about 
Well, I aim to get off at 12, but I usually go a little bit over that. And since you guys are all in here and I'm still kind of in the middle of something, I'll probably go for another like 15 minutes or so. But yeah, are any of you Animal Crossing people? Um, tell me about your islands, or if you're not an Animal Crossing person, please tell me about another game that you're currently obsessed with because I always want to know about more games. I want to expand my horizons. But yeah, I'm mostly just streaming um, Animal Crossing and um, kind of a series of shorter story-driven adventure games, so Call of the Sea right now. But in my free time, I am playing a crap ton of Deep Rock Galactic. I am just absolutely obsessed with that game. <coughs> I don't know, it like combines the perfect, or it's just kind of the perfect combination of um, like the exploration in Minecraft, but with well-defined, this is how long you get to play sort of things, or like kind of better defined goals. Um, I really enjoy exploration from like Minecraft and stuff like that. Okay, well that's probably not what I want. I'm gonna stick you here, I think entrance to the kitchens happening. Well, I don't know. We can fix this later. Um, but yeah, so that's been super fun. What else have I been playing? I'm playing through Spirit Fair with one of my partners. We've been really enjoying that. Uh, I've been playing, just started um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity with another one of my partners, and that's super awesome. We've been having... S that game is so silly. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. We're both kind of barbarians at heart sometimes. So it's like, yeah, smash all the things. Throw them everywhere. That's been super fun. Um, what else have I been playing lately? Belle, what have I been playing lately? Just finished a playthrough of Children of Morta on... PlayStation 4. That's that was a really nice game. It was my first time doing a roguelike or my first time actually like getting into a roguelike more than like a little bit um cuz they can be kind of intimidating. They were kind of intimidating to me. So it's been kind of cool to get involved with that. Um but yeah, playing it through with somebody who's played a lot of that genre was a really good plan. Um because it was just like where I'd get really frustrated that I died again, sort of thing. Um, he was just like, okay, well we died, now we get to go back to our base and we're gonna like purchase some more stuff and then we're gonna do this to level things up a little bit and then we're gonna go back in and that's just how this works. And to have somebody who is just like, just matter of fact and chill about it was really kind of helped me get over my gamer rage a little bit so so yeah I actually had quite a bit of fun so that's good <laughs> see is this what we want yeah and then maybe we whoop dang it I'm gonna have to fix that in a second then maybe we put another counter here for food to come out on yeah, that's how this is going to work. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It had a really nice story. The art is gorgeous. It's pixel art, but like really detailed pixel art. So that was that was really pretty. Um, where did you go? There we go. Oh. So yeah, we enjoyed that. That was a good time. What else have I been playing lately? I play a lot of Zelda, or I, but I kind of play it through once it comes out, and then I'm like good till the next time. So I'm waiting, like all the other Zelda nerds, totally waiting for uh, Breath of the Wild 2 to come out. That is going to be just so excited. It's going to be so awesome. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a good time. Um, what else are we waiting for? Slime Rancher 2. That's also something. Gotta stick some coffee on this table. Okay. 
super excited about that. Uh, let's put... I only have like one table. Okay, let's put some fryers on these. What do we got? That's a drink machine. Don't really need the shop sign right now. Okay. I think this is gonna go up on the, like the oil can is gonna go up on the edge, but I don't really feel like putting it up there right now. Mixers. Put like a refrigerator here or something. Uh, these are snack machines and shop signs. Okay. I might try the, oh no, but you can't place items underneath. I was like, it would be kind of nice to do the like Mario Kart trick. And kind of put, or not Mario Kart, uh, the, the Mario blocks, the ones that are up high, and put them up above, but you can't put things underneath them is the thing. Oh well, we'll just have it open, that's fine. Yeah, where are we gonna stick these vending machines? Probably up here somewhere. I know this is a bathroom area right now, but we're gonna stick this here. <laughs> Another one, snack machine. Oh, you are big, okay. Yeah, I think we're probably pretty much done for today. We got stuff done, oh my gosh. Let's take a picture. Exciting. Okay, friends, let's do some personal, let's do some shout outs, or not some shout outs, let's do some self promo time. I mean, yes, we'll do shout outs too at the same part of that. So please, friends, please tell me do you stream? Do you have blogs? Uh, do you have things like Instagrams or Etsy shops? Do you do art commissions? Um, please let me know in the chat so I can check out what you do and all the other people can check out what you do because I'm sure it's very cool and we all like cool things so um, let's give some shout outs to some people that gave us raids today you guys have been just thank you so much for coming over that's so much fun raids are so much fun we're gonna go right out here in a minute so yes actually I have a channel points redemption for guiding the raid so if you want to redeem that now that's the time is chronic migraines hanging out or are they just lurking um because chronic migraines you had rede redeemed that last night but then by the time we did do the raid the person you wanted to raid was no longer online and neither were you so you still have that option open to redeem um who else have we had eight bunny bob were you the one who raided us 
Yeah, you were one of the devour people. Wonderful. And then we had Taffy. Who also came over. They did a co-raid, which is super... That's just so cute. Um, Daniel Gamer 884 Did you do streaming? I can't remember. Let me know. Crimson Orion 69 Welcome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, let me know. Like... Those of you, especially those of you that are new, please let me know if you do streaming or cool things because some of these people I remember and I can shout them out even if they're being shy. <laughs> but newbies, please, I do want to know. Um, yeah, Gaming with Dominic, are you still here? Do you do streaming? You are kind of a newer chatter today. Who else do we got hanging out in here? Who's been with us today? Reno Chanbot was hanging out earlier. They do electronic music and some variety streaming. You should go check them out. They have a little bit of VTubing they do too, which is fun. Uh, who else do we got that's been hanging out in here? Teeny Butterfly. Check them out on Instagram. They have a great, great Instagram. You should check them out. They're not really doing streaming anymore, though, I don't think. Uh, who else? Virtual Valkyrie? You a streamer? A neon beach babe! Oh, no! I was just about to raid out and, like, maybe raid you. <laughs> you got me first. <laughs> Hello! Oh my gosh, hello! How are you? <laughs> what were you guys doing today? People that came in with Neon Beach Babe. What were, what were some, was there some like, something memorable, something silly? You want, is there anything like you want to like hype up about this streamer you've been hanging out with? Let's see, who else do we have hanging out in here? But yeah, of course, and then we had Chronic Migraines lurking. <gasps> you be okay. Neon Beach Babe was. I was about to be out. Awkward. Beach baddies. Okay, you guys were failing at Banjo Tooie. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What is that game? Like, I've heard about it. Like, I've heard the name, but I haven't done a ton of. It's like a PlayStation franchise, right? I haven't done a ton of those. And being scared of Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is scary. Warlock Letty, we bullied her. Per usual. Oh, you guys, you made a business deal? Oh, it's a platformer for N64. Oh, oh, let's see. Nice. Well, I was just about to give Chronic Migraines a shout out for making awesome artwork for me uh we've got this like little stabby sophie icon over here which is actually the early version of it but i think it's really cute uh we're gonna be but we've added in some cat stickers from them maybe maybe my internet is low uh but it's on the sticker app their sticker what you call it you got follower emotes today? Nice! Yeah, so as soon as I've got follower emotes, I'm gonna like move my cat bots into follower and then like the like commissioned ones into subscriber, I think, emotes. I'm not sure. But for the month of May, over on the sticker um, extension, the the cat ones that Chronic Migraines made for us are free. They're zero bits for the month of May, so please slap the crap out of them because they're adorable. We have one of our uh, what it, art artistic muses here with us today. This is Belle. She's the gray cat, so it's a little bit lighter color cat stickers. The sleepy one and the heart and the princess because she's totally just a perfect princess. And then the black ones are for Cinder, who is just a little ball of mischief, who is hanging out somewhere else right now. But yeah, we were doing shout outs. So yeah, of course Neon Beach Babe does streaming. You do a, like quite a lot of variety. Do you have any like old standbys or are you kind of just all over the, like just kind of like to keep the variety going? Oh, that's a really cute. Oh, that's such a cute clip. Oh my gosh, I love how retro that is. Nice. 
Rose Cartier. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> you guys are just so sweet. All right. Yeah, so if anybody wants to redeem the guide the raid, let's do that now. Wait, I did, I, I might not have, we got like four raids today, so I'm just like kind of a little bit, woo, about what have I said and what haven't I said. Wait, really? I love, yeah, isn't that, that was a really cute overlay. <laughs> so yeah, my name's Sophie. Uh, we do Animal Crossing here, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern European time. Thank you so, oh, Eris, hello, welcome, <laughs> I haven't seen, so nice to see you. Uh, so my island is a secret island research facility, and this is kind of our super corporate area. So we've got our cafeteria that's happening over here. So proud of this, like, entryway. Um, but yeah, kind of everything else is just piles of stuff right now. Um, but yeah, so we do Animal Crossing here in the mornings, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern European time, because I am streaming out of the Finland! We've got a stack of bookshelves for a library at some point. Yeah, so much terraforming. We're doing it, look, we flattened it. I had someone come help me flatten. Um, like, your second player can't also do flattening at the same time, like terraforming at the same time, but he, like, took care of a bunch of... This is like a pile of crap for an archaeology lab at some point. This is several different science labs. Just piles of crap for them. Um, and then we also, we kind of got mostly done with... There's still like some detail decorating that needs to be done up on the higher shelves, but... Yeah, we've got our kind of loading bay done janitor area done. So this is going to be Dell. He's going to be our handyman. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So right now who I have on the island are these guys. Um, but we're going to re be replacing the first four of those with some more like sci-fi themed guys. Um, guys being gender neutral. Some, some peeps. Some peoples. Some muppets. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so then um, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern European time, we do kind of adventure games, like kind of more story-driven adventure games. So we've been working through, we're in the middle of Call of the Sea right now. We finished Strange Horticulture, which you can find over on my YouTube channel, along with kind of VODs of everything else I've done. Um, and then I also do, I run a Animal Crossing blog on the Tumblr. Um, and I am a game developer for live games in, as like my other part-time job and um, we have a spaceship game room here in Helsinki that's like a collaborative you come with your friends and you get to be the Star Trek roles like Scotty and Spock and Uhura and stuff like that I mean it's not Star Trek themed but where you're kind of doing, you've got your stations that you're manning and you're going through an adventure together. And we um, broadcasted a interactive Twitch show out of there in December, which you can find stuff about that on the Out of Orbit Game Twitch channel and then also their YouTube channel. Uh, and we'll be, we have funding to make more episodes of that web series sometime in the next year. And I know we'll have a little bit of teaser content for that over the summer. Oh my gosh, hi Chronic Migraines! Hey, do you want to guide the raid because you couldn't guide it last night? Bother this cat. Oh my gosh, Belle, you're going to get bothered. This is Belle. She's very sleepy right now. Oh no! Yeah, we're going to bother you. She's like, why? Yay! Cats being bothered. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that redemption, Jinxie. That was excellent. We all needed. We all needed some Bell. Cutie Bell in our life. She's just like so sleepy right now. Yeah, curled up in your bowl. I'm so glad you slept. Good job. I'm so proud of you. 
But yeah, do you want to guide the raid? Since you we weren't able to redeem it for you last night? But yeah, anybody else who has popped in with Neon Beach Babe, if you do streaming or... Um, so this we're doing self-promo time. All right, give us give us a person chronic migraines when you oh you're in an ad okay, um, but yeah any more of you that have come in with the, the latest raid and didn't get a chance I love to do self promo time for everyone at the end of my streams because you're all doing cool cool things and I want to know about it personally I want to go check it out and you're a small streamer yeah let's go see what you do Rose Cartier. Small streamers are cool. We all start somewhere. Champions Online. Ooh, what type of game is that? <laughs> Thank you. I just got it re-dyed yesterday, so it's got kind of some funky little like stuff around the top. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for letting us know what you do. All right. Chronic migraines, you back? You back yet? gonna shake some trees while we're waiting. Oh, game you played with a girlfriend? Nice! Games are such a wonderful way to connect with people. Were you able to play that in person or was that kind of over the internet? Give us a name, Chronic Migraines, give us! Checking to see if you know anyone on. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, online. Yeah. That's such a... It's... Even online, it's it's really nice to be able to have something to do. Oh, you guys haven't met in real life? Oh, internet couple. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Kaylee Callie. Okay, we're going to go check out who this person is. We're going to go experience something new and make a new friend today. Along with all of these other new friends. Hello, guys. This is just so much fun. <laughs> all right, let's spread the love. I do not have a raid message, so just, I don't know, be excited and happy when you go in. L Kayla Callie. Let's go see what they're up to. All right, thank you so much, friends. We will um, catch you tomorrow for some more Animal Crossing. Fridays, we do actually island visits. So if you have an island you'd like to show off, please stop by tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we will catch you some other time. Bye.